Hey, it's Nick Bag TV. Hey, it's your boy, Mr. Nick Bag TV, aka Blogaholic, back in the building, back in the mix, about to get into this Andre 3000, man. Every, what, every three or four years, Andre 3000, uh, not him himself, but somebody else, you know, starts to tease, starts to talk, starts to say things. Starts to get rumblings about an Andre 3000 album. Um, the the latest person to do it is um, Killer Mike. Killer Mike, I guess he was drunk or high or something, saying that um, Andre 3000 is making another album. And you know what I got to say to that? Who cares, dude? Like me, I'm be honest with you, man. Outkast, they just they just was um, named the top hip hop group of all time from Billboard. I agree with that. Like I said. Outcast, Wu Tang, Run DMC, you really can't lose with either three of them. And I think those were the top three, if I'm not mistaken. I think NWA was three, if I'm not mistaken. But anywho, Outcast, Legendary Group, um, Andre 3000, and Big Boy, I feel like are equal to me. I don't look at Andre 3000 as being just that much better than Big Boy. I think they both um, vibed off of each other. I think it was some, a good um, chemistry. And it is what it is. Like Andre three thousand, yes, he 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 has. Um, I guess some. I, you know, I'm not gonna even say it. I'm not gonna even just sit here and act like, yeah, he got some classic verses. I mean, he got some good features. I mean, he he he. he, he I mean, they're not mind blowing. I'm not gonna put Andre three thousand. I mean, I think it's disrespectful too when you do these lists of like top MCs and then you put Andre three thousand like in the top ten or the five of these list of MCs. Um, I, I just don't see it. Maybe I'm in a minority. I think I am. I think a lot of people say Andre 3000 is, is a is a goat just because it's cool to say. But I think it's also disrespectful and kind of ignorant because you got people like Big Boy who put in just just as much as work uh, with the Outcast um, name, and he he got some memorable verses too. I mean, Big Boy was doing his thing on a lot of these albums. From uh, Southern the playlist, kind of like funky music, all the way up to I think Idlewild was their last album, if I'm not mistaken. For Speaker Box, Love Below. So they, it, you know, I like the way you move. That's just as big as of a, of a hit as Hey I. I don't know, maybe Hey I sold more, but I like the way you move was a hit as well. So Big Boy, he's not a slouch, and I don't see too many people saying, "Oh, Big Boy is dropping an album, this and that." I think it's more of a um. You call that uh, peer pressure, um, follow the leader type thing. When people talk about how Andre three thousand is this great rapper, he's he's top all time, and uh, we need to get a solo album from Andre three thousand. I'm 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 in the minority of that. Don't think we need an album from Andre three thousand. Now, if he blesses us with one, I probably would not listen to it because I don't really care what Andre three thousand has to say right now. I mean, the last time. Um, them guys dropped the album, was it what, in 2003? Damn near 20 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see, was it 2003, 2006? Um, what year, what was that, 2006? Long, that's a long time, dude. Um, one, of, one of the top YouTubers, Fantano, um, shout out to him. Um, he, he even had a, a video he did saying we need an Andre 3000 album and I, I didn't even know he did that until I was look, looking right now. I did it two days ago actually. And it's like no we don't. We really don't need an Andre three thousand album. I don't I don't know why we need that man. It's like for what? That's just like saying we need another Rock Kim album. Actually we don't. Like we don't need it. I don't think we need another Jay Z album. I mean Nas has been doing this thing on King Disease, but at the end of the day it gets to a point where kind of these guys are overkill. It's like are they gonna like what <laughs> It comes a time where it's like, okay, what are they gonna rap about now? I mean, what 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 is he gonna rap about now? What what Andre is gonna rap about? Like, what's his struggles? What he's been going through? Is he gonna tell us about his life, personal life now? I mean, what is it, man? What 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 is it about Andre three thousand that make people want to hear him so much? I'm gonna be honest with you too, man. That um that um that freaking um that song that he had with um. That remix, that Walk It Out remix, I see a lot of people bring that verse back out. Like, look what he said. He said when the classic production of Cars went from metal to plastic. 
Like, come on now. <laughs> it's like that walking out verse to me was the most random, overhyped verse in the history of rap. Like, top five, period. Like, I don't know too many verses that I heard and was like, do I suppose to like this? I guess I am because it's under 3,000. And if I don't, man, I'm not hip hop. But honestly, when you listen to the verse, it's kind of like, dude, eh, I guess. It's okay. But a lot of people went crazy, and they still talk about it to this day. But um, I don't know. What you guys think? I know a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, you crazy. Under 3,000 is the. It's like, okay, he can be uh to me. He He's okay. I mean, I'm not losing sleep over him. I'm not saying, I'm not waking up in cold sweats. I need an Andre 3000 album. I need to see what he's talking about. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever did it. Even, even when I was younger in the, the hype or the, the, the prime of Outkast, I didn't say, I need to hear Andre 3000 by himself. And I, ne- I never thought that. You know, only there's only a few rappers that you get that, that has that appeal to me. Where you where they just head and shoulders um better um than the group that they're with. And I don't think Andre three thousand is that much better um than Big Boy to say that we need a single album by him. And what I'm trying to say is, and this is just me talking, man. When you look at when you listen to like um let me see, Ghetto Boys, for example. And I know this is like a weak co- uh, comparison, but when you listen to people like the Ghetto Boys, it's like you automatically can hear, like, oh, man, Scarface. It's like head and shoulders above these guys. I want to hear more Scarface, um, especially was the point when um, the locks came out. Like, you literally used the fast forward to Jadakiss' verse. I don't think people, do- they don't think they do that with Andre 3000. I don't think they fast forward to Andre 3000's verse. Um, look at ninety by nature. I mean, you can. I mean, honestly, you could say, uh, Tretch. Should it, did he ever come out with a solo, solo album? To me, Tretch would have been a a person like he's he was way better than Vinny. To me, Vinny was solid. I mean, he did his thing, but he was way better. So Tretch coming with a solo album made sense. Even when I look at back at Tribe Car Quest and um, Q Tip came out with some solo albums, I kind of was like, eh, he's not that much better than Fife Dog. I don't see why. Look at Fuji's. Lauren Hill was head and shoulders better than Prize and uh, White Clef. I don't think Andre 3000 is head and shoulders better than Big Boy. So I, I don't see it. Like EPMD, perfect example. Like either one of them doing a solo project to me was kind of like redundant. Like I, I I didn't like them dudes away from each other. I liked them together. Just, just sounded better. Same thing with UGK. UGK, that's the difference. To me, UGK, they 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 slightly different. I think uh, Pimp C and Bum B for the most part was okay solo solo artist, not not spectacular. But again, them two together was better than them two separate. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. So when you got when when you got people hyping up, you know, um, I'll, uh, Andre three thousand to to do an album once again every few months. They they waiting on it. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. And I think it's all hype. I think a lot of people just do that to be cool. And, and they want to be seen as, you know, in the know when it comes to hip-hop. That's just stuff you say so people can say, oh, yeah, he he knows it's hip-hop. Who, who album are you waiting on? Andre 3000? Oh, yeah. You know your hip-hop. You know it. You you you, you on it. <laughs> it's crazy how some stuff, like like how how certain things just take, that have start having legs. You know, it's just it's just legs. Like even even the clips to me. Like I'm not gonna say I listened to the clips. I was like, oh man, I need to hear Pusha T by itself. I think I think Malice and Pusha T worked perfectly together. I didn't see why they needed to go solo or Pusha T just felt like he needed to be on himself. Now when you listen to people like the Goody Mob, you can you can hear CeeLo is just that much better. And he's he's he 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 should have a song album. Like it's a difference. I didn't get that vibe with Outkast. I don't know where people getting that from. I never got that with Outkast. But I, I did get it with a few other groups where I was like, let's hear them by itself. Even with Run DMC, kind of, I kind of always wanted to hear Run by himself. But then again, DMC has some, he, he, he held his ground, man. He was, Run wasn't that much better than DMC. Well, slightly, but not all the time. DMC got him a few times. Um, 
So that that's just how I look at it. And that's just what I see, man. I just think a lot of people are overhyping Andre 3000. Am I in a minority? Probably. But what you guys think? It's your boy.